guys so I have a quick uh, idea for a tutorial you guys wanted a um, basically a tutorial on status facts and potions so I came up with an idea on something new something different that I haven't covered yet and it all involves passive entities like chickens um, cows sheep pigs things like that things that can breed so if we look at the data in this particular entity we can see that there is a um in here it should say in love and that value is a zero so we can actually control that uh, if we use the data command and we're going to target the uh, we're going to go with merge and we're going to select our entity so when we get to the entity what we're going to do is we're actually going to do something a little bit different I'm going to turn off the music, forgot to do that. Find it way too loud and hard to concentrate. All right, so, uh, yeah, so when we're doing the data, we're going to go with uh, data entity or data get or merge, pardon me, entity. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead with our MBT. So if we look at the MBT, what it's at is follow it down. It should be on the um thing now if you're not sure where it is we can try to get it from a specific location uh so for example we're going to go in love love and i don't know if that's going to work uh path i think it might work uh in love Actually, I'm not sure if that will work. Uh, let's go ahead and just try to uh, set the thing. Okay, so it is in the root uh, tag from by the looks of it. So it's pig at zero or zero. So we can go ahead and just get or set the merge the data. And this is important because we're going to be adding an effect for this, right? So we're going to go MBT, which is this one. And we're going to use our in love and we're going to set this to one so just to confirm that it works uh, is there any letter after it no so let's go ahead and just take a quick look at its data again not sure if there's a timer that we need to also set um maybe it's based on a time so let's go ahead and try setting it to 1000 yeah so it's a timer so with that information what we can do is we can set um the amount of ticks because most likely it's in ticks that we can apply this effect to so if we do a thousand then the pig will be in love mode for a thousand uh we can then apply this to entities within our proximity of what have the effect so um, with that being said let's grab this and then we can start working with M creator so let's go ahead and pop out now you are going to need an icon for the status effect and I already have one here it is a 18 by 18 that's the size that Minecraft uses for status effects 18 by 18 for pixels and uh, we can exit out of that go into M creator we're going to import our resource so we're going to go to import and then we're going to go and apply a let's see here um effect texture i think this might be maybe it's not i'm not sure which one we might be able to import it later so let's go ahead and just create a um what do you call it we're going to need a effect to begin with so let's see if i can find it here <laughs> Enchantments, item, game rule, particle, potion item, and potion effect. So we're going to start with the uh, potion effect first. And we're going to call this love mode. And we're going to select our icon. Now, this allows you to import it directly. So we can just select it from our desktop. And I'm actually curious to see where this is actually being stored. So uh textures potion effects okay so that's where it was and then we can go and just choose our different settings here now there's a few different settings we have 
uh, in this potion effect uh, instantly applied. Now, um, we probably want that um, for... Basically, what it will do is it will be instantly applied to the entity. So uh, that means that it won't last for a period of time. Um, we don't actually want that. We want it to um, keep on the entity for that particular timer. So we're going to set beneficial because it's just a way that we can categorize it. And uh, render active potion effect status in inventory. Now, we're not actually going to be applying this to the player. So... It won't matter too much uh, if it's going to apply to show in the inventory, but we can leave it enabled if we want to. Uh, there is the render active potion status effect on HUD. So again, it will be on probably on the player, but it won't do anything. So we don't really need to worry about it too much. For the color of the potion effect, this is the particles that go around. I'm just going to select a RBG and we're going to set um, FF for red and then we're going to do zero 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 for the rest of it uh, for the other two parts and that will give us the exact red value so close to what I have here uh, particle effects um, now this is probably um, what we want to do is we want to do it on a um, effect when the uh, probably when it's applied or started. So we're going to do that. And we're going to need to save this. We're gonna save that first. And we're going to go ahead and create a condition to test if the entity is a living entity, not a player. So for example, we can go to our if statement for our flow control, grab an if statement logic and then what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to grab a subtype and we're going to go and we can actually go with animal because that controls what these values for the breeding aspect of things so we can go with animal instead and that will allow us things for like pigs and stuff like that after we do that what we can do is we can go ahead and go to the entity and we're going to grab the command from here. So this one right here. And then we can finally paste in our command that we got here. Now we're gonna to need to make some adjustments to this. Um, for example, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, run this as a execute command. We probably should go back in game and just make sure that this works. So let me do that quickly. Okay, so I made some changes to the command. First thing is I've got a execute command going on here. Uh, this will allow us to target um, entities, so as execute as at E, which is at every entity, and then we're specifying the type, which we still need to define. Uh, we're doing the namespace, so a pound sign, and then the namespace, which is the, the pound sign means a tag, and then the namespace followed by a colon, and then what that tag name is. Uh, then I have a common here, and then we're doing distance, and then equal to, and then we're going to go ahead with zero, and then two dots, so two periods, and then three. What that will do is it will go from anywhere from the exact center of this, where the procedure is running, to three blocks away. So uh, once we do that, what we can do is we can run the command data merge entity, and then we're using at s to specify the same entity that we just tested for the condition for with the distance and the tag, and then we're going with um, in love, and we're going to go ahead and set that to 1000. So um, in short, I'm just gonna paste this into a document so you guys can see it a little bit easier. Uh, we'll, I'll just close some of these windows I'm not using. And we're going to zoom in on that. So this is basically the command in short. So execute as at E, and then we're doing the type. Now we still need to make this particular tag, so we'll do that right now. And then we have the distance, which is the two dots here, which indicate the zero starting point to the ending point, which is in blocks. Then we're running data merge entity at S, which basically just says same entity as this one from the previous entity selector. And then we're doing the data, which is in love. So that should work. Um, we can go ahead and create that tag now, which we're going to need. So we're going to go to tags, create 
we're going to put this under our mod namespace. Now, my mod namespace is called potions, which is what I used in the tag. So for the other thing, I'm going to need to select the animals for the tag itself. So we're going to go ahead here and then I'm going to just make sure that this is going to be selecting entities and then our mod namespace and then animals. So that will be our tag there. And then we can select what animals we want in this particular tag. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the basic entities for this. Uh, for example, we want the um, anything that really breeds. So I have to go onto wiki and just quickly find what animals can be bred. So one second. All right. So if you go onto the wiki page, Minecraft dot or yeah, Minecraft dot wiki uh, slash w slash breeding then you can find a list of all the entities that can be bred here. So most likely these will have all the same values as, um, for example, the pigs and stuff like that. So we can use these as a baseline. I'm going to end up selecting all the different types of entities here. Again, we have quite a few different ones, uh, for example, camels, etc. So I'm going to basically add all of them to this particular tag. And then that way we can specify this tag in our, proce or our procedure. So let me do that quickly and then I'll pop back in. All right, so I think I got them all. Uh, we got Armadillo, o Oxalot, or whatever it's called. <laughs> I was told that it's not pronounced that way. So uh, there's bee, camel, cat, uh, chicken, cow, donkey, fox, frog, goat. Um, we got hoglin, horse. Uh, llama, mushroom, ocelot, uh, panda, pig, and then we got rabbit, sheep, uh, sniffer, strider, turtle, and wolf. So those are the different animals that will be able to be affected by it. And then we can go ahead and save this because this part's all set up now. So we got um, our tag here, which is called potions. Now that should be the same namespace for our mod. And to check that, what we can do is we can go into our workspace settings and it'll be the mod ID right here. So yes, indeed, that will be the correct namespace. And then we got the colon animals, which I just copied and pasted over to here. So that will work from now on. And we can basically save this and we're going to go back to here. We're going to go into our status effect and make sure that this is linked to our start apply effect. So once we've done that, what we can do is we can go ahead and create our um, potion for this particular item, which we're going to need to go and create a new element for that. We're going to go and select our potion item and we're going to go love potion for this one. And what we can do is we can go ahead and set our um, names for the bottles. So these are all the different names that you can apply to the bottles. Uh, they're by default set up for the same Minecraft layout for the pattern and stuff like that. And we're going to go ahead and create a, um, add a new effect and ent ent entry. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our custom love mode and we're going to set this to a duration of, we can do like maybe 1000 or something, or maybe just like 10, 10 seconds. And because it's going to basically set the timer automatically, so we don't even really need it too much for the duration for this particular project. Though, if you have your effects uh, that are dependent on every tick, then you will want to make sure that the duration for this effect lasts longer. So, amplified, we can leave this and we're going to show particles, yes. And ambient, um, probably going to just leave it the way it is. So, that's all we need to do for this part. We can just save it and we're good to go for that particular part. So now we can go ahead and game and test this out. All right, so I tweaked the code a little bit and if we throw it now, you can see that we're, we weren't affected by the effect and it does breed the entity. So uh, what I did instead was I went ahead and I tweaked the code a little bit for the uh, tick update. So uh, we don't actually use this um, love start effect anymore we can actually delete that we're going to go into our love mode and we're just going to make sure that there's no linked procedures because we don't really need that at the moment what we do have is a update tick i was trying to run it through the function before it wasn't working but uh, it was just because we didn't need that additional part so what i'm doing is i'm basically running it on a entity tick update that means that any entity and then we're specifying the entities that can be bred 
and then we're testing if they have that potion effect. And then finally, what we're doing is we're running the data merge entity and then at s because we're already using the execute command from here. And then what we're doing is in love and then we're setting this to 1000. And then that's for that same entity. And then what we're doing is removing that specific uh, potion effect so it doesn't continue to um, apply the effect to the entity. So that's basically it. Uh, again, if uh, you have any questions with it, there are um, the, uh, leave a comment in the description. There are a few different uh, blocks here for applying a potion effects uh, directly to entities. And there's also um, remove specific effect as well. So you can remove the effect from the entity with, through procedures. And there's also additional testing procedures for conditions. Uh, get level amplifier potion and then the uh, basically the potion itself remaining ticks and potion and if active a potion so basically if the potion effect is active and I think that's about all of the potion effect ones that are in here that might be wrong there might be some mixed in but um, in short that's basically what you can do with potion effects again if you were doing it with players then you could apply it differently um, it's really up to you what you want to do with it. Um, anything can be done through procedures. Again, you could run it through a command or entity or something like that and have it run for the player. And it will be easier to work with the player than it is with entities for the, uh, for the most part. But hopefully this made sense. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.